Thank you very much, uh, Committee. <coughs> and the parish priest and the entire leadership of the clergy, the bereaved family, especially you, Mama Zedrika, also Deputy President of our party in charge of Northern Uganda, Deputy President Eastern Uganda, Honorable John Baptist Nambishe, Leader of the Opposition in Parliament and uh, Spokesperson of the party, Honorable Members of Parliament, Mayors, and other leaders, Mr. Chairman of the District, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is the world. Uh, I also want to add my voice on the many voices expressing sadness and condolence for the loss of our brother. But most importantly, to salute you, Mama Zedrida. For instead of being the bereaved, again you are the source of strength for many of us. We thank God for that. It was on Friday when our brother got an accident and yet on Saturday we were seeing off your brother in Zombo. He just rushed to the hospital, left your own son fighting for his life and you went to lead the team to send off your comrade. Again came back your own son was fighting for his life. You prayed for him at his hospital bed. And then you rushed to open a leadership school so that other people's sons and daughters can be taught and trained. We salute you for that. Now, only God knows what's going on in your mind. The minds of the widow, the brothers, the sisters, the entire family, but we pray that God keeps you strong. We can only stand in solidarity, but we know the ultimate strength comes from the Almighty God. Uh, maybe to uh, arrest the fears of Father, he seemed cautious introducing me as president of... Father, never mind introducing me as president of Uganda, because he won't be lying. That is the truth. <laughs> On January 14th, 2021, the people of Uganda elected me to be their president. Of course, their will was usurped, but they know in their hearts, and God knows that that is exactly what the people of Uganda say. So never shy away from saying the truth. Also in the sermon, the parish priest mentioned, and I agree with him, that sometimes longevity comes to be a problem. Sometimes it's better we go when we are cleanest with God. Because the man that is ruling over our country, if he went 30 years ago, we would be celebrating him today. <laughs> but the more he stays, the more he misses. The more he stays, the more he misses. But anyway, God knows. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, what we see should just remind us that nobody is going to change things for us, but ourselves. In countries with better health care, there are more chances of survival. But Aaron got a border -board accident, and we're seeing him off today. It is as easy as that to lose life, regardless of who you are. All of us are in danger until all of us are safe. Until we make this country safer for all of us, all of us are still going to be in problems. So it's upon all of us, not leaving it to leaders. And as Chairman was mentioning, those are the few situations that we get to see and mention. But it has become a culture in Uganda. Corruption has become a culture in Uganda. Uganda is a rich country. You people pay taxes. In fact, you are overtaxed. The money that is taxed from you, the taxpayer's money, can it do things that can change our lives if the leaders really mean that? We all know that according to government records, 
we lose 10 trillion shillings every year to corruption. 10 trillion. More than half of the revenue collected from Uganda is stolen, just like that. As we speak now, there are scandals everywhere. Scandals in state house, scandals in parliament, scandals everywhere. And it's not only limited to the ruling party, but it has become an epidemic that even those that identify as opposition are not innocent of that corruption. So, it all comes back to you, fellow Ugandans, to you, the voters. If you don't hold the politicians accountable, if you don't hold us accountable, including myself, you are in very big trouble. Our constitution says all power belongs to the people. It is within your power to hold leaders accountable. Especially now that you are blessed with the right to communicate. You have social media. It is social media that has brought up all these ills in society. Use it. I'll also add my voice on my fellow leaders to first of all thank the church, especially the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has been very outspoken against corruption. We thank you very much. Please continue. Continue because now you are the only remaining moral voice that we have. We will rely on you, but most importantly, you fellow Ugandans, we shall rely on you. Not to sleep, not to relax when things are not going well in your country. Mama Zedriga, we condole with you. We pray that God strengthens you and the entire family. Brother Aaron, we will miss you. Not only as the son of our deputy president, but as a comrade in the struggle. We shall miss your jokes, your laughter. Every once in a while, you came along with Mama Zedriga. We were in the campaigns together. Those memories are forever stamped on our hearts. May the Almighty God grant you a good reception in heaven and may your gentle soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, uh, President. His Excellency Robert Sagulani Saint Thank you very much. And now,